right guys i'm playing war robots on steam deck like i said i'm yeah my my laptop's finished tuning now so i should be able to stream a few games i wanted to play uh what you call this i want to play call of duty modern warfare 3 on the lap on my uh, laptop and then i was gonna stream it to the steam deck um but like like i said um i can i can try to play actually you know what I want to play let me let me play the game i want to play first uh what's this license agreement <laughs> i don't even know why why they do that right so listen what i want to do is i was tuning my laptop because i used geforce experience to do that and then after that i was going to stream call of duty modern warfare 3 to the steam deck but i can actually play call of duty modern warfare 3 without the laptop on the steam deck but the experience may not be as good because if i was streaming the game obviously the game's gonna look a whole lot nicer right i was saying that if you guys want to get yourselves um this uh this uh it's uh called a re it's a i don't know a mini um keyboard mouse slash thingy it's like a two-in-one it's got a mouse scroll wheel it's got all the fn keys uh wa's it's got tap escape everything's on this uh, mini uh thingy and it's got the you know the 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 what you call the dongle comes in the back where the battery is you just have to remove the back plate but basically it's it's quite good it's got backlight and everything on it but the backlight does go off at a certain period of time why i like about this is because of the size you see i'm holding it and i can do all of these things now without reaching for my mouse or my keyboard. I do have a mouse and keyboard. I've got a full-size mouse, a full-size keyboard, but I, I just do not want... Ah, look at this, it's got a leaderboard now, leaderboard awards. Wow. Corporations will do anything for valuable information, but not all information is equally valuable to corporations. This time we need some specific data, open red data pad silver to move up leader awards right that's cool so it, it actually now on the leaderboards it actually shows the faces of the people that are actually doing it big right i don't know if there's a new special delivery thing that's on i'm gonna do a, a rough check on that but like i said if you want to get yourself a mini keyboard you can do that you can get one from amazon i bought mine for i think i paid like 15 dollars it wasn't expensive, but the one thing I, I just dislike about this is that um, the backlight does go off if you're not using the mini keyboard, which is fine because it's preserving the battery. But let's say, for example, you are using the keyboard, right? And you want that backlight to be on and it's at night. <laughs> you know, it gets a bit tricky. But if you remember the circle, this circle part thing here, if you just click in the middle, it will light up and then obviously um you know you get your um your functions back right but what i mean is like i was a bit disappointed by that i thought fine it's a mini keyboard if 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 they if needed be the fact i understand they want to preserve the battery but i think i would have preferred it if the backlight just remained on so that when it remains on then obviously i can continue using it until I stop using it. You understand what I mean? So let's say I, I haven't used it for two seconds, but I want to use it for the third second, you know, like after a few seconds, then obviously the backlight's still on and it's at night because that was one of the purposes why I bought it. And then I, I just realized, I just noticed that uh, you can't actually do that with this uh, type of mini keyboard. So what I'm saying is bear in mind, if you do get one of these uh, mini keyboard thingies and you're thinking that the backlight stays on, no matter, even if you're not using it, uh, that you're dead wrong. This thing will go off. And the problem is, like I said, try and get this type. So at least the round part, you just click on it and then it will light up. But what I'm saying is that uh, it's, it's, it's quite annoying uh, because I was thinking that I would be using this. And then from time to time, you know, when I want to quickly, like, let's say I'm playing a game at night on my Steam Deck or on my laptop. And then basically, if I wanted to do something, you know like really quickly i could just quickly grab the mini keyboard and use it but if the backlight is off how, how do you find it <laughs> it's gonna be invisible at night right it says uh gain honor points in any category twenty thousand. 
It says, Cruel Winter. Uh, this is a daily task. A new task will be issued 24 hours after this one. Uh, or after comple completion. Right. Okay, fine. It says, destroy 18 robots, uh, 18 enemies. It says, platinum task, gain honor points for top places by kills and damage dealt. Participate in battles. And then it says, uh, capture beacons, that's 10. Um, it says, win eight battles. It says, participate in battles. How many is that? Six. Uh, win battles, three. But it says, capture beacons, 10. And then the top ones, for whatever reason, they've brought this buy premium thing, which I, I don't disagree with. I think it's cool because obviously they, they want to promote their game, their War Robots, but War Robots is so popular now that I, I don't see the point of doing that. But I'm, I'm saying it's, it's fine, you know. I mean, if you get a premium uh, thing, a uh, battle pass thing, of course, you're going to get like extra gold, extra silver. It, it, and it also shortens the amount of time it takes to... Um, to um what was this to build robots in workshop uh or like upgrade your robots it takes half the time so premium does uh have some benefits to it but i mean you know i i don't know it's it's like they're trying to promote a premium because not a lot of people are getting it and like i said it does have benefits uh it takes half the amount of time to build your robot in workshop if you're building a robot in workshop you know i'll show you what i mean because i think a lot of people be listening to me and not understanding what I mean by workshop. Workshop is in here you, on these keys thing. You click on here, you know where you can see what robots you're building or what robots you're about to win or conf conversion. Here where you can actually take one part and sell it to build another. So in here, if you got premium, the premium battle pass thingy, if you get the premium, this is shortened. So it's saying 23 hours. If I had premium, that would probably be on 10 hours. So it's half, it makes it half. So it has benefits. When you're playing games and you win gold and silver, if you've got premium, you're going to get um, slightly more gold, slightly more silver. You understand? So you won't, you won't be in, 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 a, in a way like me trying to sell off some robots or parts because you want to get silver to upgrade a robot. So that's, that's why I'm saying there are benefits to having the premium why i don't get the vip so the vip is actually the premium is this thing here the reason why i don't actually use it myself is because i go into the deals and i normally look for it in the deals and then if it's in here in this uh, percentage thing here if i do find it up here and it's been sold for like a fraction of the price yes i get the premium um it's 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 not it's not like i don't want to use premium it's just that these days I'm normally I'm normally playing Call of Duty. If I'm not playing Call of Duty, then I'm, I'm on Frontiers, which is the other game uh, that Pixonic built. But what I'm saying is that it it is good to have premium. If you someone if you play this game every day, this is your main game. I mean, you may have other games on your on your um, Steam Deck, but this is the main game that you play every day. Then of course premium is a no-brainer it's something that you should get but if if you're not uh constantly playing this then you know i don't know just i'm just saying i'm just saying if you're not if you're not constantly playing this game then uh, i would still get premium i'm not saying don't get it i'm just saying that if if it was me i like i used to do in the old days and a uh, man, I used to wake up just to play this game, make videos, and I used to play this game the whole day. Then, of course, premium is a no-brainer. It's just it's just part and parcel of the game. It's gonna give you more gold, more silver. It's gonna help you to build up your robots much faster in workshop if you're building up robots or weapons. Um, it's gonna help you, especially on your leaderboard stuff. You know, in here, it's gonna help you to get keys. You know, those keys to open up chests. Like all the stuff in here, and premium is gonna help you a lot uh, with your score streaks and all that stuff. You know, it's it's gonna help a lot, a, a huge deal. But like I said, I'm I'm not normally um, playing War Robots as much as I used to. But that doesn't mean that if I don't see it up here in the deals, that I'm not gonna get it. If I see it up here in the deals, yeah, and let's say normally it sells for ten ten dollars, and then obviously they're gonna sell it uh, for like five dollars. I'm obviously going to get it. I'm obviously going to buy it because to me, that's a good deal. 
but I'm just saying, if you're not a regular, if it's not your thing, and you're not you're not always in here, then obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to say don't get it. I'm just saying if you play, even if you play this game once or twice a week, it's still beneficial because you're gonna get double the gold, double the silver. So especially, if, listen, if you're building robots in the workshop, and you wanna build the robot up faster because you're a working person. You go to work, uh, but you still want to build up your robots faster, then you get the premium. But like I said, try and get it on the deals. That way you're kind of benefiting at the same time because you're getting it for less the amount of money. Right, I'm going to tell you about the robots I've got in my hangar. I've got Ochi Kochi. This is the original Ochi Kochi. And on this dude here, because I don't know the weapons off by heart, I'm going to tell you. It's got Quicksand Libris, that's level 3. It's got a Tiger Scatter, level 4. Got two of them. That's a light weapon. That's a sound weapon. Um, the Libris is like um, it's a flamethrower uh, mixed with a grenade launcher. So it's it's a two in one. Um, the last one is damper. It's a rust weapon. Um, so this is Ochikochi's level nine. Um, I do have immune amplifier. That means when his uh, enemies are hitting him and trying to freeze him up. I mean, it, those effects just uh, are tie, kind of timed and slightly less on him. Uh, the repair amplifier just means that he can repair himself much quicker. And then armor, uh, armor kit is just like, um, what do you call this? It, it's just armor, basically. Right, this is Nightingale. Nightingale flies up in the air. Once she's flying up in the air, she's got stealth. She can heal the squad. And at times, if your enemies do get under you, they can actually heal. So this this is the thing. She's got a massive radius as well when she's flying up in the air. She doesn't fly as fast, but if you do have modules for speed, you know, the ones for speed, um, I don't know what they're called, but if you do get those, I think they're called Nitro. The, mo the modules are called Nitro. If you do get those, then Nightingale will actually be able to fly faster. Um, so with this one, I've got two Hurricanes. They're level four. I've got a Scavenger Blaze. Scavenger Blaze is a flamethrower. The Hurricanes are actually, um, I think these are like heat-seeking missiles. And these have a range of 1,100 meters. And it's actually like six missiles. Or I think there's like eight missiles. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on the missiles. But I do know that the range of the missiles is 1,100 and um i think it's got no no it's got a total of eight missiles sorry i thought it was six it's actually eight and the good um like i said the range of these missiles 1100 meters uh they fire every eight seconds um i mean reload is eight seconds and it says 1464 is damage and these are dsc um those are called hurricane i got two of those how do i get them uh very difficult because with this one you really really have to um kind of get lucky in the chest or you know sometimes the, the um, when you open up the data pads it can give you the hurricane that's how i got it, it took a very long time the, it wasn't easy to get these right with this um with nightingale i'm actually using quantum radar because um nightingale can heal itself uh, this robot heals itself and it can heal the squad so if you if you're told you need to do a mission uh, where you need to heal enemy um like, sorry <laughs> not enemy if you need to heal your um your com your commandos on your squad the nightingale's the main thing and it does have stuff when it's up in there so don't worry someone's got to target you unless you got quantum radar then obviously they will see you uh the very fact that i use quantum radar is because um nightingale can heal itself right next i got dagon it's a level eight, uh, got a correct pilot for this dude. I think that pilot, all he does is just um, maximizes the, the ability that Dagon's got. I think it's like, um, I think it's an Aegis shield thingy. Actually, let me, let me look at the pilot because I forget what he does. Uh, it says, while its ability is active, Dagon gets an additional 25% of shield uh, duration, durability, sorry. So it's a shield, so he, he makes the shield slightly stronger. And the drone I'm using, obviously, is Bleak. And Bleak is, um, I think Bleak uh, allows the robot to be, it says, if the robot receives more than 100,000 damage within three seconds, the robot goes into stealth. So, you know, Dagon gets a bit of stealth and gets a bit of durability only when the ability is active. 
right with this one i'm using four needles those are light weapons and i've got two laser weapons one's a level uh two the other's a level one so basically four lasers and uh two uh sorry two lasers and four needles i've got nuclear amplifier i think this is just for um actually let me see what the nuclear amplifier does um right so i need to go into details uh it says for every 25,000 damage inflicted on the enemy, your robot receives a small damage boost for the entire battle upon receiving the maximum possibility possible. Uh, and upon receiving the maximum possible. Okay, so it's saying like you get a damage boost with this uh, nuclear amplifier. So it means that these needles will start doing slightly more damage. So does the laser. Right, so I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is Opium. I've got two Scrooges, MK2s, and Sinister Pulsar. This is actually a lockdown weapon. Uh, let's see, I've got two repair amplifiers and one armor kit. Uh, the pilot with this one is Stefan Madness. The flying speed when Opium uses its ability is increased by 15%, and its inbuilt, its built in weapons also receive a 10% damage boost bonus. So it's speed and uh, damage on on the weapon side of things, right? Uh, I'm re I'm using revive and revive. Let's see the information of this one. It says when the robot's durability reaches zero, the drone instantly restores part of it. So it's um it's like if you are about to die, revive will actually save your robot from dying. Like it's like a last uh, last save or last life thing. Uh, the Scrooge MK2 reloads in five seconds. The damage it does is 5,020. It's a space tech weapon. Uh, the Sinister Pulse, like I said, this one is a lockdown weapon. Uh, it reloads in five seconds, 600 meters and uh, 1,300 meters, uh, eight. 1,308 damage, and it's a Yandy weapon. Um, right, so the last two, the last one on this hangar is uh unknown uh, orochi how do i get this one obviously like i said uh this was all with data pads so this is the one i've got unknown orochi i'm using um the old libraries uh from the heavy to the light I'm sorry medium and light uh libraries are the um, grenade launchers i've got immune amplifier repair amplifier and uh i think in the background i've got uh, indra right so guys um and then on this one i got three uh three harpies and two crimson hawk one is mk2 in the background i've got uh luchindo right um as i play the games i will be saying the weapons or i'll be saying what kind of robots i'm using in the third hangar i've got uh i've got two anglers i've got uh, two needers those are speed robots and i got harpy and in the background, I've got, um, what's his name? I forget, I forget the name. Oh, yeah, I've got Newton. Newton's in the background. That's the robot that, uh, the Titan that lifts up, up are the Titans. And this time, I've got two Scorpions uh, and two Lynx. They, got, they both got Spears and Viper weapons. Uh, then I've got an Angler and Newton in the background. And then uh, on the fifth and last hangar, I've got uh, two Erebus. Those are the sniper robots. Uh, they also cause damage when they fire the cannons. Uh, I've got one Dagon, and then I've got Mars, and I've got Loki. Loki is the stealth robot. It's the one that can run around the field without being detected. Unless the robots or Titans have Quantum Raider, they will be able to target Loki. So it's not like he's totally invisible. In the background, I've got Rook, and I'm pretty sure in Rook, I do have the actual pilot. Yeah, so this pilot is the correct pilot for, for Rook. The time between explosion of Rook's shield in shield replacement secondary ability and teleportation of new physical shields is reduced by two seconds. So, I mean, I don't know what two seconds can do for you. If you're getting attacked, you're getting attacked. So that's one thing. Um, I just want to see my other Titans. So I do know I've got two Newtons. I've got one Luchindo. I've got uh, Indra. I don't know how many I've got of those. Then uh, Aether. I've got Newton, Nodens. Then I got Sirius, I got Scavenger, Hammondel, oh, I've got another, I've got Kraken Indra, I've got an Oxminos, another Aether, it's a different one from the other one. I got Sharinga, but I'm pretty sure I bought that one or I want it. 
then I got another Aether. Right, the other ones I I I kind of got rid of because uh, the other Titans they weren't they weren't doing much. Um, yeah, so two Indras, um, two, uh, three Aethers. Those are the ones that go up in the air, but they're not that they're not that strong. Basic. I keep them because of the weapons, but hopefully I'll get a, a better better Titan eventually.